What's up guys, H-Y-T Abbott here. I promised this for you guys today in my video um, of Minecraft Pocket Edition. I am here on goldderby.com and we are going to be looking at The Walking Dead every episode ranked worst to best from Season 1, Episode 1 to Season 7, Episode 8. So, it's not like one of those where it's just going over like episodes from like seasons one to like six it's like all of the episodes up to date and i thought i should do this because of next sunday which is the the premiere of um season seven b the second half so let's get into it with the worst episode of walking dead and these are also, these are personally not my preference. I might disagree with some of them. I'm just going to go through them. So, we have Season 7, Episode 6, which is a swear, um, tear episode. So, then we have Last Day on Earth, Season 6, Episode 16. Yeah, I can see. Uh, yeah, it's the cliffhanger ruined that. It could have been so much better if they had just included... Abraham's death and then Glenn's death for the premiere. Um, Go Getters, you know that that I I I liked Go Getters. It's a cool episode. That was yeah, season seven, episode five. Um, now yes, I agree with this one. Season four, episode twelve, still boring. Same. Season seven, episode two, the well. Yeah, it's a little bit boring. Season six, episode five is now. Um, I, I liked it a little bit. I mean, I didn't like it that much. Them, I, de I totally uh, agree with. Um, Season 5, Episode 10. Um, Season 5, Episode 4, Slab Town. Yeah, I can see why people didn't like it, because it was sort of a waste when Beth just ended up getting... Yeah. Also, guys, this will contain ma major... Major spoilers. Um, um, next up we got Season 2, Episode 4 is Cherokee Rose. Next up we got Season 7, Episode 3, The Cell. Season 6, Episode 6, Always Accountable. Season 3, Episode 13, Arrow on the Doorpost. Season 2, Episode 6, Secrets. Season f 7, Episode 4, Service. Season 4, Episode 8, Dead Weight. Season 4, Episode 7, Live Bait. Season 3, Episode 11, I Am a Judas. Season 5, Episode 9, What Happened and What's Going On. I actually strongly, well, I kind of disagree with it being just at 8.0. Um, because, oh my god, this episode was just so well written. It was so well written. Like, it was, like, throughout the whole episode, you're just seeing Tyrese's life just, like, in a nutshell. Just, like, literally, his life flashes before his eyes. Um, just an amazing episode. And I just can't believe that it's, um, close around some of the episodes, like, like, uh, Dead Weight and, uh, and I and a Judas, um, and Prey as well. Season three, episode fourteen. That movie, that that episode was wasn't that good. I I just can't believe that that what happened and what's going on is actually on on there around them. Um, season six, episode fifteen, East. It was pretty good. Um. Except for, of course, the Daryl death fake out. Um, everything else in that episode was pretty good. Um, season six, episode eight, start to finish. It was. Oh, sorry, guys. Um. Um, it was a little bit late. Um, it, it was a little bit lame that they didn't do. Um. Just like they didn't do what I thought they would do in that episode. I mean, you would think that they would have included, you know, the Jesse, Sam, and Ron stuff 
for the season finale, but they saved it for the mid-season premiere, which, I mean, it wasn't that... It was, I have no problem with that, don't get me wrong. I loved it. Um, it's just this episode would have been so much better if, um... If they didn't just have all that long, just long dialogue about, oh man, the walkers are getting in the house, the stupid stuff with Carl and Ron. Um, we have Deanna's death in that episode. It's just, it's just like a waste of a season finale, or mid-season finale is what I think the, that episode was. But uh, moving on. Season 5, episode 13, Forget. Yeah, it was a little bit of a cushion before we got... One of, one of which is probably my fave. No, not my favorite. Like my third favorite episode of season five. Um. Well, so season five, episode seven, crossed. It was okay. Um, the awesome Daryl zombie kill, putting his fingers in the eyes, ripping it off, hitting the guy in the head. That that was pretty cool. Um, I liked that a lot. Season 5, Episode 5, Self-Help. Actually, I like... It's one of the more, like... Just, like, kind of just-for-fun episodes that you can have, like... Like, there's some episodes of Walking Dead who are just, like... just It's, like, driven to the story. It's driven to the story. Like, you don't know. Somebody might die. It's, like, life-and-death situations. Which in this case, I guess you could say, because they almost die in the bus crash, and um, they meet that huge walker horde at the end of it. But this episode's kind of an episode you can like, you can watch for fun, just to get a sense of like everybody's, just, uh, and it's a good, it's a good Glenn episode to watch as well, and it, it's a good Glenn and Abraham episode to watch, which makes it um, even more important now. So, that was, that was a really good episode. Um, season 4, episode 13, Alone. I actually didn't mind that one that much. Because, you know, you had the plot, you had the different plot points setting up, um, the rest of season 4 and then season 5. You had Beth's storyline, um, being kidnapped, get set up in this episode. Um, Bob and Sasha get together. Um, the search for Glenn starts, um, and also it sets up the Claymore group in the finale with Rick biting Joe in the throat, which I think is one of my favorite moments, um, in season four of Walking Dead. Um, but yeah, that was really good. Um... So, Season 4, Episode 4, Indifference. I can't remember half of what happened in this episode. It was kind of so boring. All I remember is, like, you know, there was people sick. Rick and Carol went on a run. He left her there um, with supplies because she couldn't be at the prison, really, at all. Um, and then... Uh, meet Sam and the other girl, Anna, Anna or something, it doesn't matter because she dies, <laughs> and then it doesn't really matter because Sam dies, season 5, episode 1, uh, the premiere, in a gruesome death, jeez, but yeah, mm. yeah, I didn't like that episode, Bloodletting, season 2, episode 2, um, you know, back in season 2, Walking Dead was, you know, it's start, it was just starting to get popular. Um, what Lies Ahead was sort of the part of Walking Dead where people were like, I can really get into this show. Bloodletting kind of slowed that pace down. And then throughout the rest of the season, it was just like storyline, dumb storylines. Just like, just like, there's walkers in the barn, Lori's pregnant... Uh, Shane and Rick and Lori love Triangle. Uh, Herschel wants the group off the farm. What are they gonna do with Randall? Oh my god. That was so annoying. The Randall storyline, it was just so pointless. I mean, Shane could have killed him right there and then. Like, none of that crap would have happened. And then just the farm altogether. 
just sucked. I can think of, like, I mean, I, I, there's episodes in season two which I loved. Like, for example, What Lies Ahead. Uh, I like, uh, I kind of liked in Nebraska. Eight, 18 miles out, um, beside the dying fire. Um, pretty much dead already, of course. Better Angels. And I don't know about Judge Jury Execution. I don't know. Because the Dale, Dale's death kind of, you know, pissed me off. Um, but yeah, Bloodletting. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. That's. Mm -hmm. So, Season 6, Episode 14, Twice as Far. Um. Yeah, I wasn't too much of a fan of that. And so, Denise decided to get an arrow through the eye, which I was upset about. I liked Denise, but whatever. Season 5, Episode 6, Consumed. Um, season 4, Episode 9, After. With the Prison. Then we have season four, episode three, isolation. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry guys, skipped like hundred, like a hundred episodes, not a hundred. Um, the Suicide King, which is season three, episode three, episode nine. I preferred season three, episode eight over Suicide King. I mean, it was cool to see the group actually being informed about Andrea being at Woodbury and Daryl and Merle sort, like, getting, reuniting and getting back on the road. I didn't like that Daryl left the group for a while. Um, yeah. Didn't like that part. But, um, and, and the whole Merle thing with the group was horrible, because it just drew everyone apart, like, Michonne, Rick, it just threw everybody in just different corners, like, Carl, if you had Maggie hated him, you had Carol didn't like him, you had Carl not liking him, you had, uh, Glenn and Michonne and Rick absolutely despising Merle. Just like having with the experience that they had with them, um, in terms of the torture and just just the all out just stupid crap that he's put them through. Um, so yeah, season two, episode two, Chupacabra. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised about this one being on being on like one of the lower areas. Um, the only part I really liked about it was, um, Michael Rooker coming back, um, as Merle. Um, the whole Daryl situation was actually really good. Um, and once again, Shane urges Rick to call off the search party. That's like every episode of, of season two. And until so pretty much dead already. Um, one of the more recent episodes, very recent episode, um, is, uh, Sing Me a Song, um, season seven, episode seven. I actually loved this episode. I really liked it. It's probably my second favorite, not my second, third favorite episode of season seven. My three favorites are Heart Still Beating. Basically, like, all the Negan episodes. All the episodes with, like, Negan being the most, like, awesome. Heart Still, which is Heart Still Beating, uh, The Day Will Come With It Won't Be, of course, is my favorite episode. And, um, yeah, Sing Me a Song. So, I, I actually really like that. Next, we've got Season 6, Episode 7, which is Heads Up. This episode was actually a huge relief for me, um, with all the, you finally get to 
find out um, if Glenn's alive or not. It's exciting. Fans are pumped for the season finale after they see the tower fall. Of course, the mid-season finale was a piece of crap. So, unfortunately, then we had to wait about a couple months before we actually got to have No Way Out. Um, the full glory of No Way Out, but still, heads up, it was the only part I really liked about it was the confirmation about Glenn. Um, this episode just proves that Spencer's an idiot. Glad he's got his guts all hanging out in Alexandria now. Um, but yeah, that's heads up. Um, season 6, episode 4, he was not here. This is my least favorite episode. It's my least favorite episode. Because it was just, like, I mean, I could get what they were trying to do. They were trying to calm down season 6. Yeah, the premiere was hectic. Episode 2 was hectic. Yeah, so many people died. Season 3, or er, Episode 3, you had a lot of people die, and then you supposedly had Glenn, who died. But, and there was backlash against AMC about that. Um, so I guess Episode 4, they just weren't thinking, right? They were just like, okay, let's let's explain to people what Morgan was doing, while people want, um, don't care about this episode, and just want to know what happened to Glenn. And the sad part is we had to wait, like, four weeks just to find out if Glenn was alive. And it sucked. They were the worst four weeks in Walking Dead history. You had, here's not here, you had now, always accountable, and heads up, which were four of the worst episodes in season six. Um, yeah, enough with that. Here's not here is the worst episode, in my opinion. Season 4, episode 11, Claimed. Claimed actually is a, one of my, probably, I don't know. No, it's not my favorite episode of the second half of season 4. It's one of my favorites because, once again, it's another good Glenn and Abraham episode, which, it's, which is valuable now, considering that they're both, spoiler alert, they're dead. Um... Also, it's pretty good for Tara's character. You can get to see how far she's come through all of this. So that's really good. Next, we have Season 4, Episode 10, which is Inmates. Uh, Welcome to the Tomb. Season 3, Episode 16. Say the Word. Season 3, Episode 5. Walk with Me. Season 3, Episode 3. Nebraska. Season 2, Episode 8. Um, Wildfire, Season 1, Episode 5, the first episode of Season 1 on the list. Um, Season 1, Episode 3, Tell It to the Frogs. Season 4, Episode 1, 30 Days Without an Accident. Season 6, Episode 11, Knots on Tie. Now this episode, another, another great episode for Abraham and Glenn, but also Maggie. And just the whole show in general. Finally getting to have the hilltop incorporated in the show. Finally getting to see more of Jesus. And getting to see, like, iconic characters. Um, like Gregory. Uh, even though he's a douchebag. But we got him. We got Dr. Carson. We have Jesus. We have all the other hilltopians. Uh, yeah, hilltopians. Check it out in the dictionary. The Walking Dead dictionary. Check it out. (laughs) Um... Yeah, that's good. Season 3, episode 6, Hounded. Um, Rick first meets Michonne, which is actually really important now. Um, also, it's got the one of my favorite moments from season 3. One of the most creepiest moments. Rick gets a phone call from his dead wife. He gets, well, he gets like a phone call. It's like Lori and Shane Jim, I think, also is in it. But yeah. Um, season 2, episode 9, Trigger Finger. Season 2, episode 3, Save the Last One. Season 6, episode 10, The Next World. Probably the funniest episode in Walking Dead history. Season 4, episode 2, Infected. Um, season 5, episode 15, Try. Man, I loved, I loved Try. The end of it. I loved it. 
also it's got some stuff with Carl and Nina, which is actually really important now since they're um together. Season five, episode eleven, the distance. The distance actually, I rewatched it because the first time I watched it, I wasn't paying attention at all. But the distance actually is now that I now that I've see, rewatched it, it's actually not half bad. I mean, you get introduced to to Alexandria, you get to see Alexandria for the first time. Then episode twelve, you get to see it again. Season four, episode fifteen, us love it. Got Glenn and Maggie reuniting. It's sort of sad now. Season two, episode eleven, judge, jury, and executioner. You know, it's one of those episodes where I'm like, oh man, like one of my favorite characters died at this at this point. Season two, Dale Dale was one of my favorite characters, so I was a little bit sad that he died. Um, but the actor just you just didn't want to be on the show anymore. It's, I mean, I'm not holding it against him, but yeah, I mean, it, it just upset me. But uh, one of my favorite episodes of season two, and that's saying a lot since I absolutely, I just didn't like season two much. Um, eighteen miles out, season two, episode ten, the big Rick Shane fight. Love it, love it. I loved all the, the like the Rick and Shane fights, but out of all of them, eighteen miles out was the best episode for Rick and Shane. Absolutely, that and Better Angels, of course. Um, got that season one episode four, Vatos. Um, season five episode two, Strangers. Season 2, Episode 1, What Lies Ahead, basically like the beginning for Walking Dead popularity. Um, we got When the Dead Come Knocking, Season 3, Episode 7, 6, Season 3, Episode 2, TS-19, Season 1, Episode 6, Got Season 1, Episode 2, The Same Boat, which I actually love that episode. It's a great Carol and Maggie episode. Um, season 6, episode 13, that was. Um, season 6, episode 1, first time again. Actually, I don't, I don't really like first time again. I mean, it was, it was good in the beginning, but then it just kept dragging on about the Carter stuff and the, uh, just dealing with Pete and Reg's death. It was just, I don't know, it just felt like it was dragging on. Um, season 5, episode 12, remember, um, it's really exciting. We get introduced to Jesse. Um, Sam a little bit, Ron a little bit, um, Deanna, um, Pete, uh, for about five seconds. It's, and it's so exciting, because Alexandria, they're still in Alexandria, they're still in Alexandria in the comics, of course, um, spoiler alert for the comics, now the Whispers have actually led, um, oh, I won't talk about the Whispers, but... It's a group, uh, a group of people led some, a ton of walkers, crap ton of walkers, bigger than No Way Out herds. It's bigger than any herd I've ever seen in Walking Dead history. Um, Walking Dead anything, video game, comics, show, anything. Um, all of them combined, basically. Um, but yeah, they led that in Alexandria. It's, yeah, all crap's breaking loose. But season five, episode eight, Coda, the death of Beth, one of my, one of the first moments in the show where I just really started to realize that this is going to be a sad, sad, sad season ahead. Like, there's going to be sadder and sadder and sadder seasons ahead, and it's going to be so tough to just, yeah we have the death of Beth then they hit it then they hit us with the death of Tyrese which hurt me even more so yes yeah. season three episode 12 clear I'm surprised it's not at the, like the bottom of the list but I gotta admit it's actually it's important now considering that Rick and Morgan are now like they're gonna reunite in the premiere I'm pretty sure um on next Sunday so, next up we have Home, which is season 3, episode 10. 
Season 4, Episode 5, Interment. Season 3, Episode 15, This Sorrowful Life. Oh my god, one of, that's like one of the first, like, one of the biggest deaths that still has impact, you know, on Daryl today. Like, there's certain deaths that has impact on Daryl, like, Beth, Denise, um, and Merle. All three of those just weigh heavily on him each day. And now Glenn, too. Glenn and maybe even Abraham just weighs him down. And I don't know if he can take any more death. But I'm I'm considering now that there won't be much death now that, that Rick and the, Rick and his group are gonna rise up against the saviors and take a stand and not just not lose any more people. Yeah. Um Well I'm hoping to see more more of the the light side of Daryl this half season. Um, season three, episode eight, made to suffer. Love it. Um, got the governor's eye. Awesome. Season three, episode one, seed probably. Oh man, one of my. I just love watching that premiere. It's one of my favorite premieres of of the series. Now this is this is the most recent episode. The most recent, Heart Still Beating, um, one of the best episodes I've seen in season seven so far, because, not only because of, uh, Spencer's death, yes, huge win for me on, on my part, because I absolutely hate Spencer, uh, oh, I'm watching the new Logan trailer, apparently, get him, Logan, um, but, Anyway, but yeah, that's the most recent episode, and I love it not only because of Spencer's death, but just because of the, the inspirational moments at the end of the episode. Like, the beginning of the episode starts off, the group is at one of its lowest points ever, and they're just, they're just kind of hopeless, Rick's kind of hopeless, um, Michonne's disagreeing with how Rick's doing things, she's kind of contemplating whether or not, yeah, she's kind of contemplating if she's doing the right thing, yeah, alright, alright, so, yeah, that's the main reason why I love that, um, Season 6, episode 12, Not Tomorrow Yet. Yes, I totally agree. Um, Not Tomorrow Yet is probably one of my favorite episodes of The Walking Dead ever. <sighs> That's a nice image. Not much to say. Not much to say about that except for that is probably the most gruesome death um, in history of The Walking Dead. Um, actually, no, Glenn. Glenn, definitely. Glenn is probably the the most gruesome. And Abraham's. But yeah, it's been one of my favorite episodes of The Walking Dead ever. Um, that's season 5, episode 14, by the way. Spend is just like, um, the beginning of the episode, the beginning of the episode, Glenn's hopeful. He thinks he's going to get supplies. He's going to finally like make a difference in the community. And then by the end of the episode, he's like, "I am just, I can't, I can't do anything like for these people because of Nicholas. Because Nicholas keeps screwing things up for Glenn. He continues to do that in season six. Luckily, he took care of himself. Bye bye, Nicholas. But uh, yeah, mm, poor Noah." <laughs> Poor Noah. Oh my god, another one of my favorite episodes. If you guys want to go watch my top 20 favorite episodes of Walking Dead, I guarantee at least half of the ones that I'm that I'm going to be saying from here on out are on the list. Because they're that good. Season 5, episode 3, Four Walls and a Roof. You got Bob's death, Gareth's gruesome death. Um... And all the term, Terminus people get 
put down so awesomely by Sasha and Abraham and Rick. Like, man, it's just so crazy. Um, I love it. Oh, my gosh. Um, season 2, episode 12, Better Angels. Not much to say about it. Um, except for probably the be- one of the best episodes of season 2. Along with uh, 18 Miles Out, Beside the Dying Fire, uh, What Lies Ahead, Pretty Much Dead Already. And, yeah, The Death of Shane, prob- the first biggest death, the biggest death in Walking Dead. Um, it's like the first, it's like one of the first moments in Walking Dead when you're like, okay, so anybody can die now. Um... Yeah, I love that episode. Alright. Okay. This is where I disagree on this list. Because I feel like the day the day will come when you won't be should be at the top. Because that's where it was on my list. But yeah, the day will come when you won't be the season 7 premiere. <sighs> you guys know what happened. I don't need to explain I don't, I don't need to relive the moments again in my mind, so you guys can go watch that episode. I'm just going to warn you got you guys will want to watch every episode before that to understand completely what happens. Um, yeah. Season 6, episode 3, thank you. Probably my biggest freak out in Walking Dead history. I freaked out. When I saw Glenn just die. Die. Yeah. Once again, you guys need to go watch that episode. Um, because from for anybody who was watching from season one like I have, it was just mind-blowing to see Glenn, like, die. Just gonna put that out there. Um, season 4, episode 16A. I actually like this episode. Once again, bam! Throat bite for the win. Yeah. Season 2, episode 3, beside the... Season 2, episode 13, beside the dying fire. Yes, one of probably my favorite finales of any season. Which is saying a lot. Saying a lot. We'll see if the season 7 premiere can, um, can top the season, um, the season, the season five finale, which I love a lot, that's probably, that, that's my favorite finale, I mean, season six finale, it killed it with that cliffhanger, it was cool to see Negan, and, and Simon, and all the saviors, but really, that cliffhanger killed it, killed the finale, it killed season six, it killed, it, it just killed a lot of things, it killed April, it killed October, it killed season seven as a whole, that's, it killed a lot, and it killed Glenn and Abraham, by the way, season one, episode one, days gone by, this episode, first episode of Walking Dead, not much to say, but you guys need to watch that. Season 6, Episode 2, G, J, G, S, S, J, S, S, which is very important to Enid's character. Enid and Carl and I are together. She told Carl that. So, that this episode's really awesome and important, but it's just mostly awesome because it's just the all-out war that, sort of the mini-war that happens there between um, Alexandria and the Wolves. Yeah, it's crazy. Pretty much dead already with season two, episode seven. Again, a great mid season finale. Great. Great mid season finale. Um not my favorite, but close second. Close sec close second. Um Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm not going to talk about this one much because I'm going to get creeped out and won't be able to sleep. Um, the Grove, creepiest episode I've ever seen. Let's move on. 
Season 3, Episode 4, Killer Within. Great episode there. Conquer, once again, my favorite finale of Walking Dead. That was, yep, Season 5 finale. No Sanctuary. We are getting down, this is the third. We are getting down to the final three episodes. Number three, which is No Sanctuary, Season 5, Episode 1. Guys, go check out my top 20 episodes video for The Walking Dead. That's on there. All of, like, uh, most of these episodes, of course, most of them, because it's all of them that I'm ranking in this video, will be on that list, pretty much. Um, all the great ones. All the good ones. I wouldn't put them on my list, list if they weren't, like, really high um, in ratings and everything. Um, but mostly, it's just my personal opinion, and this is this is not my opinion. It's goldderby.com, whoever did this. But yeah. Um, photo cre credit to Gene Page slash AMC, by the way, guys. Um, so yeah, No Sanctuary, great premiere, probably. I don't know. I think, well, no, Season 7 premiere, definitely my favorite. This is definitely the second, my second favorite. Yeah, this is my second favorite. So, next. Yeah, this guy, this may shock you guys. The second best episode is No Way Out. I totally disagree with this. Once again, it's Gold Derby opinion. It's Gold Derby's opinion, not mine. But No Way Out would be at the top. Um, also, I didn't know this, guys, but this episode was nominated at the Emmys for prosthetic makeup and special visual effects in this in a supporting role. So I don't know what the supporting role was that that like won the special visual effects and what the yeah I don't know, but that's really awesome and the episode deserves it. Um, yes, this episode. Basically, it was the comics. Just, they ripped a page out of the comics, put it on the episode, and it was beautiful. It was just, just awesome. And I don't, I don't, I don't need to explain it to those of you who've watched this episode. Because you guys know how awesome it is alone, without me telling you. So, are you guys ready for the number one episode of Walking Dead? Best episode. Based on, I think this is actually, no. This is based on fans. They asked fans on their website to go to a poll and, like, just vote on, on different episodes. So, this is based on the fans of Walking Dead. So, the number one episode of Walking Dead, according to fans, not me, I didn't take this, is... Too far gone. I would have put this at number two. Um, or no, I would have put this at number three. Have no sanctuary. Yeah, you guys can go watch my top twenty video. Dang it, I've said that a million times now. Top twenty video. Go check that out. The you guys can see all my my opinion on these. Um, but yes, yeah, season four, episode eight. Too far gone. Best mid-season finale, uh, ever. Yes, definitely. The best mid-season finale ever. Mm, also, Heart Still Beating, pretty much dead already. Those are my, yeah, I love them. Um, and Coda as well. But, yeah, Too Far Gone apparently is the best episode compared to, according to fans. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Credit to AMC for the pictures. Um, thank you, GoldDerby.com, for providing this, um, this, this, like, slideshow that I could look, look at instead of ranking them myself, because that would have took, took in days, because I'm not good at ranking episodes, as you guys can see from my top, um, ten favorite Walking Dead characters. I messed up on the list a lot. But thank you guys for watching. AGYT out. Peace.